Welcome to another exciting episode of NYC Help Hour. I am Ruth Besson. You can catch us on NYC TV on TSTV channel 365 and NYC Radio 88.3 FM. The involvement of core members in elections commenced in 2008 as polling clerks, and the involvement of core members in the governorship rebrown in Kogi State in the same year was transformed into interagency collaboration between the INEC and the NYSC. Consequently, it led to the signing of a memorandum of understanding by November 2011. This strengthened the collaboration. I would like to salute call members who are taking part in the 2023 general elections. I also encourage you to keep the NYC code of conduct close to heart. We would be right back in a jiffy. Please stay with us. What is now? Make you know no attack them. Now volunteer the volunteer for INEC to make sure say this election go well well. Now we have responsibility to make sure say election workers and their materials they safe for our community. Yes. Make sure say nothing bad happen to them for election time. That come member, na person Pekino. Remember say, you said get picking for somewhere. Yes, sir. Let's protect them. Say no to violence. No to violence. Protect our core members. Do the right thing. Welcome back. On today's episode, we would be conversing with the Secretary to the Abia State Government, Barrister Chris Ezem, who shared his experience as a COM member who served in 1993. Please come with us. I'm an Akokite, and um, that was between, I came from higher school between 1989 and 92. 92, I went to law school and left law school in 93 and proceeded to camp on the 17th of November, 1993. 17th November, 1993. That was when I proceeded to camp in Lagos, uh, Yanakwaja. Okay, it was a good experience with um, uh, the routine thing of um, waking up in the morning and then um, going through the military drilling of um, running around and um, all the exercises you have to do. And then you are meeting people from other, other universities, you are sharing experiences. And then um, from there, after the camp, I was posted to Ministry of Justice. Federal Minister of Justice Lagos, where 
I served under the DPP's department under uh, Mrs. Folari at that time. She was the director of public prosecution. And then um, I think at that time you had Akwangbo as the attorney general of um, later Akwangbo, attorney general of the federation. And then um, it was a good experience uh, going to court, writing legal opinions and as a very young copper. And then um, from there I proceeded to do a brief stop. Um, we worked for like one year and set up my own practice. I've run my own practice for 28 years as an increase and associates before coming to serve as an SSG on the Abia, which I'm currently still doing. Barrister, SM's office happens to be the first point of call for guests, including core members in the state. He speaks on the cordial relationship between his office and the National Youth Service Corps. On assumption of office, on the 11th of June 2019, uh, my office um, definitely represents one of the very first call of major guests and agencies to Abia, including NYC. And um, from that point, I began to relate with um, the coordinator of Abia State at that time, who was um, Mrs. Bona Fashaki. And I recall very well that um, uh, we had good interactions, we had a um, good working relationship. I've had calls severally to represent the governor at the NYC opening ceremonies and then equally um, graduation ceremonies from um, different um, batches. And um, I've tried to ensure that um, government continue to work strategically um, with um, NYC by responding to their needs particularly at the camp with respect to infrastructure, and it's still ongoing. And uh, I can confirm very well to say other state government has had a very robust and cordial, seamless relationship with the NYC. And that um, Bona Fachaki left and handed over to Mr. Nguini, who is currently in Adamawa. And Nguini left and handed over to Julius Seke, who is the current coordinator. So this office has been in very good relationship with all successive NYC directors and will continue to do so. He further speaks on the activities of core members in the state. Five core members from Abia, particularly um, from right 2021, five core members from Abia came top five nationwide. Nationwide. In fact, one of them was the best core member nationwide who received the award from the president and commander in chief of the forces. And back home here, I received them in this office and government celebrated them. So that can show you, that points to you that um, other states, uh, core members have been on top. And in terms of um, uh, projects, uh, during the COVID, they were very responsive. Under Bonafashaki, I repeat again, the core members developed uh, nose marks on their own. In fact, them two core members, I may not remember their name vividly, developed a hand wash machine, which was delivered right in my office here. And the governor, uh, governor applauded them and gave them um, um, cash rewards for that. So, and um, back in the go to the villages, as far as um, Obingwa, I know one core member there did very well in terms of projects, which uh, they have impacted the look and crane of Abia. I can tell you clearly that um, we are proud of those who have been sent to serve in Abia. And some we have retained here. Some have received the award at the federal level. So making the choice between being in the state and being at the federal level. So, and then we've not had any occasion to, of um, any core member in um, Abia behaving uh, abnormally or who has been um, um, sanctioned for any unduly behavior. Um, they are disciplined, they are productive, they've added value to the system, they've been responsive, and um, uh, they've lived up to expectation. He congratulates the National Youth Service Corps ahead of its 50th anniversary celebration and also for the pivotal role played in uniting young Nigerians across the country, adding that the NYSE has so far achieved the purpose for its creation.
First of all, I will say on behalf of the government and Gupil of Abia, I want to congratulate National Youth Service Corp for turning 50. We all will recall when this project came on board. And um, um, the first thing to ask is, has it achieved the purpose for which the federal government set it up? Yes. To allow us, it's a unifying program, a unifying program. And today you and I can clearly see where Nigeria is. If we are asked to score Nigeria in terms of nationhood, in terms of unity, we are preparing for elections. And for the first time, an election is cutting across becoming an ethnic and religious divide. Eh? So if there's any time we need the NYC, it is today. It is now. The greatest thing this country needs from any leader that will lead tomorrow is to unify the country. For us to see ourselves as Nigerians first, before seeing ourselves as an Abian, as a, somebody from Kwara, from Yombe, from, Go, from Gombe, no. See yourself as Nigeria. We are the symbol of Nigeria. And the greatest thing that can achieve that are only two things, this and sports. So I believe that if there's any time we did the NYC, it is today. He further advised the Nigerian youth to take advantage of the NYC scheme and what it has to offer and shown vices capable of destroying them and the society, urging them to stand for the truth in the ongoing electoral process. Advise them all youth uh, um, to take advantage of this program, which will definitely, if they take it very seriously, will have their positive impact on them. And um, I would equally advise that um, Papa should shun those vices that are creating decay in our society, particularly uh, cultism, drug abuse. We know they have a place in the electionary process. They should stand for the truth. Avoid violence. Avoid being used. Nigeria belongs to all of us. Politicians should not use them. They should do their job without fear or favor. We believe and we are up for a Nigeria where everybody's vote will count. Thank you. Thank you, Barrister Ezem, for your encouragement and admonition. Our next story is on Joy Akeve, an indigenous of Benue State and a graduate of mass communication from Federal Polytechnic, Bochi State, Nigeria. Joy was mobilized to Gombe State for her service here in 2018. During her time in the orientation camp, she took advantage of the NYC Skill Acquisition and Entrepreneurship Development Program, Said. Joy decided to stay back in Gombe as the knowledge gained had enabled her to successfully set up a business. She is now the CEO of Anam's Beauty Empire Wawu, an employer of labor and also a SAID facilitator. Joy also found her better half in Gombe. Girl, stayed where they both have built a beautiful family together. So let's meet Joy. I'm Janet Bala by name from Kaduna State and I was posted to Gombe State to serve my father's land and I'm here with you at Onom's Beauty Empire where um, I, I learned my Said training back then in the camp and I'm here to perfect what I started in the camp so you are welcome to Onom's Beauty Empire located in Gombe Town around Cross. Good morning Ma. Good. This is my madam, and you are welcome to our studio. This morning, I started this, and I'm here to continue from where I stopped. Hope is 
100% blending. Don't forget, okay? okay? So as you are concealing it, you're blending it what immediately okay. to avoid what harsh lines. So uh, you, as you're doing it, you're blending it. Doing it, you're blending it immediately. Okay. My name is Joy Akeva, CEO of Norms Beauty Empire. I'm from Benue State, and I was mobilized in Bombay, 2018. And during my course in the camp, um, I was opportuned to attend Said. I don't know that there's opportunity like this. And eventually when I came, I was surprised. You know, I read uh, mass communication and I have a couple of people who promised me work and all that. But you know how the country is and some people promise and fail. But when I started Said, I realized that I don't need to work for somebody. I need to work as an open my own business and employ people to work for me. So I had to keep my certificate for the future, probably, but I concentrated more on Said and it has really helped me. It really changed my mindset. I had the intention of going back actually, coming to Gombe because I was like, ah, Gombe, Gombe, looking at how the place is and the way they, we, we were taught in the camp, then post-camp, I realized that there are so many potentials here in Gombe and going back to where I had initially planned to be, I don't think my value would be well noticed there. But here in Gombe, as I stayed back, I've added more value to the society. One year service is not and can never be a waste of time. Like the core members training under me, like I had a meeting with them yesterday, I always advise them this you use go, the golden opportunity provided to them by NYSC and really take this side seriously. It is not a waste of time. Who, who knew that by, by now I would be where I am today? Now I'm a Saeed trainer and me being a, a Saeed trainer, I've trained thousands of people, both in, in camp and in post camp, I've trained hundreds of people. Now in and I've tra trained core members and non-core members. I also have Gombe Indigen training under me. I do so many things here. Uh, it's not just makeup. We do makeup. We do gele, tying of gele. We, we do pedicure, manicure. We won't have salon here. So it's not just the makeup. Now, my, my, I also sell products, makeup products. Now, my, my, my customers are not limited just in Gombe. And for this side, I'm proud to say that I have touched so many lives positively. Hello viewers, my name is Isaac Chupemeka. I'm from a born state, posted here in Gombe. I actually find this very lovely and interesting. Not minding, um, there are no guys in it. I just, I was inspired to join and to know more about this. And from there, I can establish a business with it because I find a passion in it at first and I'm happy doing it. It's an honor that I'll be able to come here and be reminded of the things I've forgotten. As a woman, I know um, I, can, I should look good at least. I should be presentable while going out, meeting new people. So this will like enlighten me more like to know how to do makeup, how to tie jelly and other stuff. So that's why I'm very, very happy. This Said skills helps us to, to be in dependence on our own self without relying on our parents or others. Before coming to, N to NYSE, I was having issues in tying gilly and, and everything makeup. So when I came, I got the opportunity to 
Thai Gele and uh, and other mistakes to, to correct my other mistakes and everything. So you can see this is a sample of one of my Gele. So uh, N NYSE has really helped me much. One month ago, I cannot draw something like this. But now, I can draw eyebrows, I can do a full face makeup. That is really is a good thing to me. Even my mom should be so proud of me to see me doing this. It's a good thing. I thank God for NYC. I thank God for Sai. It's learning this skill because I want to be an employer of labor. I want to help other people just as I have been helped. When I go back to my place, I want to own my own makeup studio. And I want to be able to teach other people too so that they can help themselves and help the society and other people. NYC is not a waste of time. I've learned a lot. I've interacted with so many people from different states, from different backgrounds and clans. I learned um, Gele time because I have the interest and passion for it. I'm grateful to NYC and to Saeed program especially for giving us the opportunity to learn various skills of our choice. Like I personally am being opportunity to learn the makeover and then the Gele time. So, so far, I've gone very far with my lesson and skills. So I want to thank NYLC and then I want to thank Nigeria, my country. Long live NYC. I'm learning makeup at Anom's Beauty Empire Studio. And seriously, it has been a great opportunity learning here and interacting and seeing core members too. Like, it has given me a lot of interest and I'm already preparing for my own. Once again, my name is Joy Akeva from Benue State. I'm the CEO of Anom's Beauty Empire. In this wonderful establishment, we specialize on makeup, gelatine, we sell original and affordable makeup products. We also rent wedding gown. We do hair, pedicure, manicure, and all that. Um, thank God that for the NYC, I served here in Gombe and I met my lovely husband, who is from Anambra State. I met him here in Gombe when I was serving. We have a beautiful daughter. If not for NYSC, maybe I might still be looking for my missing rib. But I thank God for NYSC. I served here and I've established here and me and my family will be based here. And he's also an ESCO member. A very big thank you to NYC and Said Kim for organizing this wonderful program and to those who really inspired me and really encouraged me when I was serving then uh, our Said head Mr. Onwecho. I want to say a very big thank you to you and our present mama Said by name Haji Ajumai. I want to let you all know that Said is not scam, it's a very wonderful program. S A E D. It's been such an amazing time interacting with young people who are contributing immensely to the growth and development of the Nigerian economy through the National Youth Service Corps scheme. Thank you for staying with us on today's episode of NYC Health Hour. You can write us on the online handle scrolling your screen and we would be glad to write you back. You can catch us on NYC TV on TSTV channel 365 and NYC Radio 88.3 FM. M. And remember, the safety of core members in our communities is the responsibility of you and I. Many thanks for staying with us. Until next time, I am Ruth Besong. Thank you for watching and stay safe. So